Hi everyone, Luke here, aka Stumblesack, and I'm here with another uh, comic review. This time of Potter's Field by Mark Wade and Paul Azaceta. Or Azaceta. Um, this is a, I believe, let's see. It's a three issue mini series, also has um, one shot that was done a bit later. And uh, this is a, this is from Boom Studios, and it's a, um, it's all about the guy um, known only as John Doe. Who basically um, works to identify um, people who have been buried in what is known as a, as a Potter's Field, a sort of um, cemetery for unknown or undesirable people. You know, people who are too poor or um, I don't know, they, they have no surviving relatives, so they just get dumped in this Potter's Field, and there's no one there to um, there's no one there to remember them. No one, no one to you know. Um, I guess close, close the book on, on their lives officially, you know, so rather than just being a number, he um, makes it his life goal to figure out who, who these people were, um, find out their names, etch them onto their their otherwise anonymous headstones, and then, um, I don't know, provide some sort of closure. It really um, nags at him for reasons that aren't, that aren't really clear, and in fact, we don't really find out who this guy even is, if he's someone who had someone who was buried in Potterfield themselves or if he or if he just became aware of it somehow and you know wanted to do um, wanted to do his specific duty I guess but this is a really good um, series this is a lot better than some of the other comics I've been reading lately some of the last, last few books I've done like um, the Untouchables and you have killed me and some of those books like that were were okay they're kind of middling they were they either, either, either had a good story and and mediocre art or mediocre story and good art. So thankfully this one has um, a great story and great art. Give you a little, um, little preview here of what Paul the set of brings to the table. The minimalist kind of look that it's all rage these days. Uh, a bit different though. This is a motif I really like. The sort of the sort of noir silhouette but instead, what you can see there, uh, the glasses of um, the uh, of the character. That's really cool. Um, so anyway, this is um, a fairly fast-moving series. Only three issues, and then there's a one-shot at the end. And unlike um, the Untouchables, which had uh, a mini series plus sort of a tacked-on one-shot that was kind of related but didn't really um, didn't really follow the same characters and didn't really add a whole lot to um, the mini series that came before it, um, the one shot that came after after the initial series of for Potter's Field was actually uh, really good. Um, and that one, um, actually, let me let me just refresh my memory a little bit. I, I'm trying to remember if this is the right story that I was uh, talking about here. I don't want to get it wrong. Okay, yeah, that's what, that's what I thought. Um, it's uh, it's basically a one shot that that where in which John Doe um, involves a, a female police officer in finding, um, you know, finding out the identity of um, you know some people in the Potter's Field and stumbles upon um, something even bigger, uh, um, a lot of uh, police corruption going on, and it relates directly to the um, the, the Potter's Field, the people who are buried there, and also. Um, um, what they left behind. I'll just leave it at that. Um, great series. Um, I haven't really read a whole lot of um, Mark Waite's stuff. I know that he's doing a really good run on Daredevil right now, and he's been writing comics for probably like 20 years, I, I think, from what I can tell. Um, but again, I've only been in, in, uh, getting into comics for about a year or so now, so I'm trying to get, get caught up in um, all the classics and trying to dig out little hidden gems like Potter's Field, which from Boom Studios, so it isn't isn't gonna maybe have, have as, as much marketing or uh, as high a print run as something like, um, you know, you know, one of your standard superhero uh, books. Um, but yeah, this is this is really good, and this is and this is the uh, type of series that I like to see something sort of crime or noir, something that's kind of dark, but it's also uh, really well done, great art, and. Um, one small thing that I'm not really a big fan of, this is this is the hardcover, I think it was released in both hardcover and uh, softcover, 
price, $24.99 for hardcover of four issues. That's a lot. Thankfully, I checked online. It's available for pretty cheap there. Um, so you can do that. Do that. I'll definitely be buying it sometime pretty soon. But I just have so many trades that I have to uh, get caught up on and a bunch of other series that you can see back there that still need to be uh, finished off. I have some of the trades for, but not all of them. So, but anyway, this is a good standalone um, trade. Um, you know, I only wish that the admits on ongoing. I thought there uh, there's more out there. Um, I may have to message Wade or as a SATA and see if they have anything in the uh, pipeline for this particular universe. But it's actually um, really good and, and, and it's great, it great to have it um, come on the heels of some some lesser books to really really uh, remind me of um, how great comics can do with sort of um, noir crime genre. So this is really good. Uh, I'll probably give it give it a, a nine out of ten. Uh, equivalent being it probably could have been longer you know i would have really enjoyed that um uh, but anyway uh, let me grab that the next book i'm gonna be reviewing here this is from my my, my, my personal collection the last three or four books i think um have all been from the library this one i've had for a while i think it's probably one of the first uh one of the first things i got when i started getting into comics it's batman earth one by jeff johns and carrie frank I know that there's supposed to be the Earth One Part Two or Earth Two coming out uh, next year. Um, I wait till like it's cheaper before I, I get it, but um, I'll, be, I'll be interested to see how Jeff Johns versus Batman. Um, I haven't really read any of his, any of his stuff, but I'm fully aware of who he is. But um, we'll see uh, see how that turns out. But um, anyway, uh, in the meantime, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, happy reading.